hello viewers welcome back to my tutorial for today i sincerely appreciate you guys for your love and support please if you are new to this channel and you are here to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to enable you get a notification once i upload new video in today's tutorial we are going to be making an off shoulder ruffles cape so i will make use of this fabric this fabric is two years first i'm going to be folding my fabric into two first Then fold it again, making it into four. So this is into four now. And how to get the measurement that I'll be using for this? I will measure around my shoulder to get the measurement that I need. Or I will measure around the shoulder of the dress that I'll be working with. So since I've not made a dress for this, I'll make use of this old dress just to show you guys how to get the measurement. So I will start from this zip line here. I will start from this zip. So if you want to extend your own to this place, you start from here. So mine, I will start from this close to the zip. Measure it round the shoulder. Down to the other side of the zip. And this is 40 inches. And this 40 inches, I'll be dividing it by 6.68. Giving us 6.36. So I'm going to make use of 6.4. So at this edge, I will measure at 6.4. At this edge, I will measure at 6.4. Yeah, it's 6.4. So I'm going to measure 6.4 around here. I'll connect connect like this so this is it for the length of this ruffles I'll make use of 19 inches and the length determines how full you want your ruffles to be so I'll make use of 19 inches so I'm going to measure 19 inches around this place See the way I'm placing my type. Start taking your measurement from this line. So also. I will also connect the line. So this is it. This is what I will be cutting out. I will cut out this place and also cut out this place. I'll go ahead and cut this out. Also cut here out and 
and don't forget you divide your round shoulder by 6.28 and measure it out here so i will still cut this out so this is it so i will notch this edge and also notch this edge Much here too. Also, much this edge. Fold it like this, and also much here. Much here, and then open it up. Then open it up like this. So I'm going to open one side of it. So this is it. When you open it up, it will be like this. So since I will not be facing this inside the zip side, it will just fall out on its own. I'm going to close this edge. So I'll go to my machine, stitch this edge, fold like this, and also stitch this edge like this. Then turn it. See the way I'm folding it into two. Okay, I've done that. This is it. I will turn it over to the right side. I'll also turn the other side. So I'm going to fold this like this. This is the notch side. Place it on top of this. I'll use my pin to hold this down. So fold it into two. Get this side of the notch side. Still place it on top of this. And place it on top of this side of the notch. So I'll use my pin to hold this. Place this like this. Two notch side. This is the notch side. Okay, this is it. So, the next thing to do now is to print this SS one. So it's either you gather it up or you print it, depend on what you want to do. So I think I will gather mine up, stitch, gather up, stitch like this. So I will gather it up like this, stitch it, still repeat the same thing on this side, stitch. Gather this one up. This is it. This is it. I've gathered it up. This is it. Other side of it. Do a little smoky like this. You can pinch this up like this with your hand needle. So if you don't want this, you can also leave it like this. So draw a square. Just draw a square like this with your hand needle. Do a small smokey like this. So I'll use my hand needle to do that. 
So I'm going to hold this like this. The way we do Canadian smoking. And this is optional. So if you don't want it, you leave it like this. So see the look he's giving it. So this is it. Let's see it. So you see the difference. So if you don't want to do this, you can leave it like this. So I will continue like this now till I finish it up. This is it. So I will attach this. So now this is the wrong side now. And this is how to attach this now this is the wrong side of this so i'm going to stitch it on top of this wrong side of the dress like this then flip it like this okay this is it Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please, if you're here to subscribe, kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to enable you get a notification once I upload new video. See you guys in my next tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.